Okay, well, like a kid at Christmas time, we have a new present to open. Although it's a kind of expensive present, it's not that expensive. This is from the company Weatherflow, and this is the Tempest Weather Station. I'm going to do some brief clips of the opening, getting it online, etc. Lord hopes all that goes well. And then I'm going to try and put it outside in a temporary position before I have to leave town here within the hour. So let's see how things go. Okay, so here's Tempest Weather, uh, and I know I knew I wasn't gonna be able to do a video without a cat helping. So here's the box. Let's see what's inside the box as Cuddles tries to eat the box. Take the lid off, and this is the five-minute setup instructions and there she blows so there you have it I've got it up on the roof now um, the pool was eight feet it's two four foot sections together uh, I forgot who manufactured it now, but I'll remember later, I'm sure. All I could do is look in the store. And um, trust me when I say that was not the easiest thing to do working on that roof. I'm hoping that my days of doing stuff on the roof are coming to an end, but I will have to fix that. You can see that the uh, Peep Brothers, one of the cups on the anemometer is missing. I don't know what happened to that. It happened Monday night sometime. Might have been during all those storms Monday. But there you have it. It's final spot. I think the peak of the roof is 19 feet. I think about a foot off of that. So 18 and 8 is 26. So that's 26 feet high. Weather service requires 33 feet for official measurements. The only way I'm going to get 33 foot at this house is if I get a tower, a tri triangle shaped tower, and put it up. And I don't see that happening anytime in the foreseeable future. So there you have it. When I replace the anemometer for the Peep Brothers, which will be soon, hopefully, I'll do a video on that. Hey there, Don Keating here. I'm going to give you a brief summation of what you can look at on the Tempest weather information that we have here at Newcomerstown 1S, the new weather station. This is a regional map of Ohio and surrounding areas. You can see heavier concentration along the eastern seaboard and into the mountains of Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Maryland, etc. Our dot is right here. This is Newcomerstown. You click on that. Then you can click on this, and that will bring you to this, all right? Now, let's take a look at what is available to see. My screen is a little off-center, so I apologize for that. But we're going to take a look at it. This is, in a nutshell, what's going on right now as I'm recording this, and it's 12.55 a.m., 70 degrees, feels like 70, 93% humidity, pressure 30.115 and steady. The sky conditions are cloudy, we have no wind and no UV, of course. So let's take a look at this. You can come down here for today, Monday, thunderstorms are likely, that's the forecast, based on the AI, the artificial intelligence of the weather station for the Kermerstown area. These are the temperature forecasts, the precipitation chances, so on. Yes, they're going to increase substantially overnight from 15% to 40%, all the way up to 75% at 7 a.m. You click on this information up here, and this will take you to this. All right. Here's what you got. I think we can center this up. Hang on. Don't be a little ride. There we go. 70.3 is temperature, dew point 68.5, 94% humidity, and the winds are calm. Now, here's about the wind. 
listen to this closely. This compass and the number inside of it. Usually when there is wind, an arrow will point to the direction the wind is flowing from. This is the current wind speed. This is the wind average over the past one minute. This is a graphical display of what the winds are doing now. Every five miles per hour is denoted by a hash. All the way up to 20, if it goes above 20, it will go from 0 to 40 miles per hour, etc. This is what's happening in the past one minute, gusting to 0 miles per hour. So if you have a 5 mile per hour wind and you've gusted up to 13 in the past one minute, it shows that. Okay? Pressure, rainfall, lightning. How much uh, lightning is there out there? Well, none right now. We haven't had any for the past two hours, but the last time we had some was 22 to 24 miles from where we're at now. Here's your UV index, brightness, and solar radiation. And this, of course, is for the, the battery and the unit outside. And here's some other information for you. Station pressure according to sea level, dew point, wet bulb, delta temperature, air density, rainfall today, rainfall yesterday. And we are online because this is what I see, not what you see, but you will see all this stuff except for this. That's for me to see, not you to see. You don't want to see that. You don't care about seeing that. In fact, you don't want to hear about it. So we'll take one of these and show you what this can, to, uh, can show you. Well, let's take a look at the wind. We click on this. You can do this too. It's interactive. Don't be afraid to push the buttons. You're not going to break it. Click on the wind and it will show you as you can see the wind speed for station 8583 let's go back far and see how far we have to go oh there we go we had some wind just after midnight uh, the wind lull the wind average and the wind gust for that one minute period wind gusts up to 4.3 miles per hour and so on this folks is going to be as far as I know available for everybody to see all you got to do is interact with it. Again, like I said, don't be afraid to touch the buttons. Want to see a more of a broader range or an even more broader range or an even more broader range. Click these negative or positive buttons up here. And this will tell you what's going on. You see the 13th, we had a maximum gust of 21.5. The 12th, we had a maximum gust of 26. Here you go on the 14th, here you go on the 15th, or you can just X that out and come back to where you are. Hope this wasn't too boring for you. I wanted to show this information to you so you can get an idea of what's available out there for you to take a look at for the new Tempest Weather Station by Weatherflow for the Kermerstown 1S. I'm Don Keating. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Any questions, drop me a note.